Hello everybody, and today I'm going to be filming my favourite video ever to film, and I've never, mm, that's a lie, I have put one of them, one of these on my channel before, but I deleted it, like, because a few while back, if you watch a video, can't remember what video it is, I think it's my neutral makeup tutorial, I said I deleted my videos, so I did do one of these videos, but then I deleted it, that makes any sense, um, and it is going to be a Lush haul, and I love Lush. I could sit here for hours and tell you how much I love it, but I'm not going to do that because I'm going to be showing you some of the stuff that I have got. And this is the Christmas selection, collection even, not selection. And there's two other things that aren't in the Christmas collection, they're just, um, just the normal collection, but they are new to the normal collection. So, let's get on with the video. So firstly, I actually just got this um, catalogue. This comes free, if, I don't know if you buy it, if it's a... I think it just comes free. I don't think you have to buy like a certain amount of blush stuff. I think it just literally comes free. Um, but yeah, the smell of this book is literally my favourite smell ever. It kind of smells like paper, like a new book smell, which I love, mixed with Lush and it's so nice. So anyway, that's the book. I mean, just raving over the catalogue. So the first thing is this. This is Milky Bar. So this is one of, not, this isn't a Christmas product. This is one of the new products, but it's just in the classic range. So, I was debating whether to buy this or not because I have, um, I'm not a massive fan, I think definitely I prefer bath bombs to bubble bars, but I do really like bubble bars. I love the smell of this one, like most people don't like the smell, I think, I was speaking to the lady and she said most people aren't mad keen on the smell of this one, but I really like it, it's kind of, it smells quite plain it's not a really like I don't know it's a really it's quite a plain smell but it's really nice it's orange oil and I think it's cocoa butter or maybe it's sheer butter it's really nice and it's just got a glittery top um here um oh and as you can see the glitter the glitter in Lush always comes on your fingers that's just something that always happens in Lush every year if you're gonna get a glittery product then it's gonna ruin your bath and get all over your fingers and all over your stuff but yeah, it smells amazing. I really like this one. So if you like quite like, it's just quite a soothing smell. So if you're looking for like a quite a soothing smell, then this is the one to pick. And I have glitter everywhere right now. So this is actually a Christmas one. This is Golden Wonder. I love this bath bomb so much. It is probably my second favorite bath bomb ever, like that Lush do. Um, oh, this is weirdly packaged. Um, it's. If you don't know what it is, I'll show you what it looks like. Um, so it's basically a present. And I think last year... Oh, it does have something in it again. I don't know how loud that is on camera, but... Basically like a gold present. Um, and once you put it in your bath, it turns a bright, amazing blue. And if you follow me on Instagram, I think I put a... A video or maybe it was a picture of me doing this in the bath last year I love it um it's a really it's kind of a toned down citrusy scent so it's not really like granny's granny takes a dip which is a really citrusy smell or it, it's just a sort of toned down version and I love it so much it smells like sherbet exactly that's what it smells like that is the smell I've just worked it out so I love this one. So if you like the citrusy scents, then definitely, definitely, definitely pop along to Lush and get this one because it is so, so nice. Next we have Cinders. Now, this was out last year, but I didn't get it um, because I don't really know why I didn't get it. I should have got it because I love the smell this year so, so much. Um, is this the right way? Yeah. So it's a very small bath bomb. It is one of the cheap ones. It's like the same size, same... It's the same size as a butter ball and the same price as butter ball. But it just looks like this. And this one has, I think, let me just check. Yeah, it's a hot fruit punch fragrance. So it smells a bit like mulled wine, but kind of different. And it has poppy candy in it. Now I'm trying I was trying to work out the smell of this one. Um, on the train home, because I was smelling it through the bag. And I can think of it, but I can't, it smells, it basically smells like fruit punch, but like, it's basically, again, like a toned down version of mulled wine. Um, but I really like it. So it just looks like this. It's just like a little yellow ball. <sighs> and I got it, and I, 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 I'm really excited to use this one because, oh, 
it just reminds me of Christmas. I think I might use this one either, I think on Boxing Day, because I use one on Christmas Eve and one on Boxing Day. That's what I did last year. And I'm not sure what my Christmas Eve one this year. I think it's going to be, um, I'm not going to tell you because I'll show you in a minute. So I think that's going to be my Boxing Day one because it smells, it's kind of like a after Christmassy scent and it's just really nice. So yeah, if you like spicy, it's a very spicy smell. So if you like spicy scents, then get yeah. So this one is actually not a Christmas one, this is the Experimenter, but it, again it is a new um, classic one. I think it's a new classic, yeah I'm pretty sure it is. Um, anyway, so <sighs> I not, I think this doesn't really have a smell, it, <laughs> like I'm not making sense. This doesn't really have a smell. It kind of just smells of lush in general. So like when you walk into the shop, it just smells like that. So I'm not sure if that's deliberate, but when I, <coughs> don't my nose. When I first got it, I thought each texture smelled different, but then I asked the lady in the shop and she said it, it doesn't, it might think like that, but it doesn't. It kind of, it's quite spicy, not really, but I think this is more for the like, it's like a spectacle show sort of thing than for the actual um, bath bomb because this just like even looking at it you just know this is going to be amazing in your bath like it i've seen pictures and i like i love watching the lush videos on instagram and like youtube and stuff like i love all the demos um and i've seen a demo of this and it just looks amazing so i'm really excited to use this so next we have my favorite bath bomb of all time um this is so white and this is the best bath bomb ever just putting out there and you should get this bath bomb because until you've tried it you literally haven't lived so I got this one last year I got two last year actually I think um, and I was gonna get two year this year and then there were too many other bath bombs to choose from and I was like no I can't get two I can't get two um, so I can always go back and get this one again can't I mum even though she's not there um, so this smells like apples and roses mixed together. That's my, I told, like, that's why I think it smells like. People may say different, but it's my favourite bath bomb ever. And I was speaking to the lady and she said she's so, this was considered being discontinued this year because there's loads of other new, um, like, brick products that have come out this year that, that like, are new. So she's like, this one was considered to be discontinued. And I'm so glad that it hasn't been because I literally might have cried if it was discontinued. So I think everyone's just got to go and buy this one because otherwise it's going to be discontinued. I haven't even opened it yet and I'm still like ranting on about it. Um, <laughs> so it's the most simple bath bomb ever, but I don't know this year what it's going to be like when you um, put it in the bath. Because last year it went pink and it went this night. Oh, I, can't. <gasps> I literally love this bath bomb so much. Oh, it's so such a fresh scent. Literally, it doesn't smell that Christmassy to me. I don't. It's not Christmassy, but I think it should be an all-round bath bomb. To be honest with you, Lush just make this an all-round bath bomb. Make everyone happier because everyone loves it. Anyway, I'm just gonna put it out there that I love this bath bomb so much. And if anyone from Lush or anyone's sisters, brothers, mothers, dads work in Lush, please um, ever discontinue so white because. You will literally make me cry forever. So, yeah. So this again is a new one this year. It's a Christmas one though. Um, and this was a soap, I believe, last year. Um, this is Yognog, and this is gonna be my Christmas Eve bath bomb because I love it so much. And the smell on here is says is cinder toffee. I'll do you know I'll read the thing. Pop it in the bath and raise toast to cinder toffee soaked in spicy clove and floral ylang lang. Never heard of that before, but anyway um so oh i just got that all over my carpet oh well so it's quite a big bath bomb actually i don't i don't remember it being this big but i'm not exactly too sure what the pattern on it is i think it's just baubles and like just feel like in sort of design but i love the smell it smells like something you'd eat like um like it smells like cinder toffee basically which is like burnt toffee i'm not really sure but and it's got like a hint of spice at the back. So when you smell it and then you get hit with spice, it's so good. I'm trying to sound like I'm an expert in smells, but I'm really, really not. But anyway, that went right in my nose again. 
if you're looking for like a spicy smelling bath bomb then this one is so good does it have anything in it no it doesn't but yeah, I, think, I think it's probably just a simple bath bomb obviously i haven't tried it so i will let you guys know oh i just touched it and yellow thing came off it yeah it's got something yellow at the side but anyway oh, it smells so good so this is the last one and this again is new this year and this is my favorite new product out of every single thing this is a the not a Oh yeah. Um, this is the Mag Magic of Christmas reusable bubble bar. So they have two of these this year. Two reuse. They had the what's it called? Snow Fairy something stick last year. Um, and it's the pink one. It's got the Snow Fairy scent. But this year I was I was because I get one every year. I get one of these because these last honestly so 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 long. Like. These are probably, they are the most expensive ones, but these last the longest. They smell so nice. It's kind of, if you know the little pumpkin one, it smells like that with spice. So I love it so much. Um, it's got little cloves on it. And I think that's star anise. I think the lady said star anise. Yeah, oh look, they match, my, well they don't match my nails, but it looks quite Halloween-y, but it's actually really Christmassy. And again, it's got glitter on it because Lush love to use glitter. And then it also has a real cinnamon stick. That's what it's on, that's the little thing, which I really, really like. Um, is there anything else to say about it? Oh yeah, it has a little bell on it, which I really like. But I was debating whether to get this one or the snow fairy one, but I got the snow fairy one last year and I did like it, but the smell after a while really is like, whew, hits you. So, and you get quite sick of it. Like, um, I don't, I'm not, I want to, I don't want to say I'm sick of Snow Fairy because I'll get so much hate for that. I'm not sick of it. But if you have it after a while, you get quite like sick of it. But anyway, I love this and I'm going to be using this all the time in like November, December, October, getting ready for Christmas. Before I go and end this video quickly, I'm just going to do a little shout out to my friend Gabriel who actually went to Comic-Con recently. It is Comic-Con, I think it's Comic-Con, hope it is. And he met Dodley Oddle, who is literally one of my favorite YouTubers ever. Um, she writes her own songs and she plays the ukulele. And I don't know if you, you probably have heard of her. She's quite famous on YouTube, but he got me a little video of her saying hi to me. So I'm just gonna play it. Yeah, go. Hi, Nelly Hillier, you're my favorite subscriber. And it was literally such a good day. So thank you very much, Gabriel, and I think Morgan and Rory, who are his friends, went hit with him. So thank you very much to them for getting me that video. And yeah, thank you very much for watching everybody. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe.